All right, guys, so today, um, instead of doing the live demo, which I had planned, um, through Teams, I'm just gonna post this video tutorial on YouTube and then you guys um, can watch it and rewatch it. It's from a different angle. I know I gave the same demo last week, but since it took so long for everyone who was participating in the clay assignment to um, get their clay picked up, I just decided um, to do another tutorial from a different angle, from the this perspective so you guys can really see what's going on. Um, so I'm gonna set um, some of these things aside and I'm gonna start with my clay and my rolling pin. So if you picked up a clay kit, this should all of this stuff should be in your, your bin, or I'm sorry, your kit, including a, a scraper and a sponge, um, which are not necessarily going to be used today, but I will show you how to use them in just a second. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna like kind of squish together the clay like this, kind of flatten it out a little bit now you can also press it on the table by holding your hand and bracing with your, your wrist so you don't hurt your wrist and you can kind of press it down that way this is fresh clay so you don't need to knead it it's already ready to go and once you kind of have it flattened out pretty good uh, then you're gonna take your rolling pin and gently roll back and forth a few times to create a nice even slab. And while you're rolling, you're gonna flip it over and rotate it so that it expands in all directions. If I press the clay this way, sorry, it's going to expand that direction. If I press the roller this way, it's gonna expand out to that direction. So whichever way you're rolling, the clay will expand in the direction that you roll into. So I'm going to roll it a few times, rotate, flip and rotate. And the big question is, how do you know when you've rolled it enough, when it's big enough? Uh, and it's really just when it's big enough to fit over the bowl. So I went a little too far there. So I'm just going to squish that back together, roll it with my rolling pin. And you don't want it to be too thin. It should be, you know, maybe about a, a little bit thicker, as, a, about as thick as your pinky, a little bit thinner might be okay. But not too thin. It should not feel like, oh my gosh, this, if I pick it up, it's not gonna tear. It still holds. So if you pick it up and try and flip it over and it starts to tear, you might have rolled it too thin. So now I'm going to set this over here. And I need my plastic bowl. It's okay if the bowl has um, some random name on it. I've used these a couple of times, but not for a long time. So they, they shouldn't have any, any contamination on there. They've been sitting for a long time. Um, so you're going to line your bowl with the paper towel to prevent it from sticking to the mold. Remember, this is a slab and drape project. So you're using your slab, draping it over the object that you would like to duplicate the form, and then gently pressing it into the form to make sure that you get all of the nice nuances of this shape. So I'm gonna lay it over, and that's how you know it's big enough, as if it's bigger than the bowl. I'm gonna set my roller and my newspaper to the side. And then I'm going to lift up here and gently press down. Now, this is the same exact tutorial I gave you guys last week, except now you could be doing this along with me and just pausing the video. Now, if I try and press in here too fast, I could poke a hole. And I don't want to poke a hole, so I'm being really gentle and pressing down onto the sides. My, my hand, there's always pressure, counter pressure on the outside so that I don't, the bowl doesn't collapse on me. Um, but yeah, this is the same video that I showed you, uh, or not the same video, but it's basically the same tutorial. I'm just doing it from a different angle and so that you can see. So say it gets a little thin down here, just tear off a piece roll it in your hands like a little coil and you can the clay is plastic so 
when your clay is, is really soft, you can um, just smush. I know that's not a very technical term, but you can smush your clay back together and patch it when it's soft, when it's plastic. So I'm just getting that nice shape. I should have a nice round bottom. It should start, you should start to be able to see like, okay, I can see the shape of the bowl underneath there. And I'm gonna lay my paper towel. I mean, my, uh, it's been a long day, guys. Lay my newspaper over and flip it. So I'm not gonna take it out of the mold. I'm just gonna pull the, news, the paper towel back and I'm gonna use one of my green tools or maybe something you have lying around the house. Um, you could use a butter knife or just, some, it doesn't have to be sharp, just something that can make an edge. And I'm trimming off the excess clay. Now you're not gonna throw this away. You're gonna use it to maybe decorate. So, trim, 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 trim. And now I can peel this off. And using the newspaper, flip it back over. And now I definitely have something that looks like a bowl. Let me go grab my sponge and my scraper. wet the sponge a little bit. So you have two new tools in your supply kit that you picked up for this project. This is a rib tool. It's a metal rib tool scraper and this is just a, a ceramic sponge. Um, the rib tool is, is, is okay for plastic. You can kind of use it to scrape out imperfections, but this tool is really best used for the leather hard stage. Um, because anything you can do with this during the plastic stage, you can also just do with your hands. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start around the edge and I'm going to smooth it out just with my hands, starting at the top and then moving down into the base of the bowl. And then I'll come back up and just work my way all the way around to smoothing with my hands. And I'm always moving in one direction because I feel like it helps me know that I've touched like all of the surface. When I get back around to here, I know that I've smoothed out the whole thing at least once. And I'm just see all those cracks that just disappeared. And then there's some cracks here that if I just kind of using my hands, I'm not using any tools, I can smooth out and kind of clean this up mostly with just my hands. Now you really don't want to oversaturate by over sponging because when you wipe your sponge, yes, it gets really smooth. And it's just, it's just kind of slightly wet, but you do want to smooth it out some with the sponge on the plastic stage, but not too much. Cause look what happens to your sponge. It turns gray because it's picking up the clay off of the surface. And it, if you over sponge, you're gonna thin your clay out really quickly. So really, this might be all that you get done today and that's okay because on Monday I'm gonna have another video. I guess I can just make all these videos over the weekend. Another video on how to use your scraper when it's leather hard and how to use this extra clay to attach and design. I guess I can show you some attached designs really quickly. So say you want to make a flower and when you want to put, you want to decorate your bowl with a flower. So maybe you roll out a little coil, which is just a rope-like piece of clay, and then maybe press it with your thumb. You can look up different tutorials. There's a million out there on how to make or model clay 
into stuff. This is just one way that I like to do it. And then if I roll this around on itself, it might look like a little flower. I didn't plan this. This is just impromptu. So it's not the best flower. Um, but then you could score and slip. You guys don't have slip right now, but you can score up using your tools and you can just wet it using um, a sponge because your clay is really soft. Um, so then you could press it down. That is not a very good flower, but you could press it down. You can attach objects. You can cut out any designs. Maybe you just want something that looks like a raindrop shape. You know, you could attach them, um, during this stage, you could just decorate with whatever you wanted. You could also take like a pencil that's lost its eraser and maybe impress a pattern. Maybe you have something else around your house that is interesting. You guys have the benefit of being able to like be like, oh, what do I have around my house that I could make a design with? That might be interesting that Miss Colada's never seen because we only usually have specific things that are relevant to a classroom here. Now I'm just barely pressing into the surface because if I press all the way through, it'll punch a hole, which you could do that too. But whatever you do today to your bowl, the idea is that you're going to smooth and you're going to smooth it out, but you're going to leave it in its, in its form. You don't want to take it out of the mold until it's leather hard, which means it's going to get a little bit lighter in color. It's going to change a little bit and it should come out without losing its shape. It would pop right out. If you take it out on the first day, um, then it's probably gonna collapse on itself overnight. It'll kind of lose its shape. But if you leave this in your bag um, over the weekend is probably your best bet so that it doesn't dry out. And then on Monday, I'll post a tutorial on how to use your scraper um, once you've removed your bowl from the, um, the mold, use your scraper to smooth out the cracks and creases on the exterior. So we did the interior today using the sponge and then Monday we'll use the, do the exterior using the scraper tool. So that's it for Ms. Colado's classroom today. I'll see you guys on Monday. Bye.